Ever pondered about the nature of time and space? Does time fly when you're having fun or does it crawl when you're bored? Time and space, two seemingly simple concepts, yet they form the very fabric of our existence. We've all experienced time's elusive nature. A thrilling roller coaster ride feels like it's over in the blink of an eye, while a single minute of holding a plank in your workout can feel like an eternity. It's clear that our perception of time can be relative to our experiences. Now think about space. When we say something is far or near, it's often based on our individual perspective. For a city dweller, a hundred miles might seem a considerable distance, but for an astronaut in the vastness of space, it's merely a drop in the cosmic ocean. But are time and space really as subjective as they seem? Or are they absolute constant entities that exist independently of our perceptions? This is where science steps in, offering a different view, one that challenges our everyday experiences and understanding. Enter the realm of physics, where time and space are not separate, but intertwined into a four-dimensional structure known as space-time. It's a world where time can stretch and space can bend, a world that shatters our conventional understanding of reality. And who leads us into this mind-bending reality? None other than Albert Einstein, with his groundbreaking theory of relativity, a theory that revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos and became a cornerstone of modern physics. A theory that dares to propose that time and space are not absolute but relative. Relative to what, you might ask? Well, that's a journey we're about to embark on. So, how does science explain these things? Welcome to the intriguing world of the theory of relativity. Albert Einstein, a name synonymous with genius, gave us an entirely new perspective on time and space. Born in the late 19th century in the city of Ulm, Germany, Einstein was not the typical child prodigy that you might expect. In fact, he didn't even begin speaking until he was nearly three years old. However, once he found his voice, he used it to question the world around him in ways that no one else had before. Einstein's journey into theoretical physics began with the Swiss Federal Polytechnic in Zurich, where he graduated as a teacher of physics and mathematics. But teaching wasn't enough to satisfy his boundless curiosity. He began to delve into the fundamental laws of the universe, asking questions that would change science forever. In the early 20th century, Einstein developed the theory of relativity, a groundbreaking work that would redefine our understanding of time and space. This theory is based on two simple postulates. The first one is the principle of relativity, which states that the laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames of reference. This means that whether you're sitting still or moving at a constant speed, the laws of physics work the same way. The second postulate is the constancy of the speed of light. This means that no matter where you are or how fast you're moving, light always travels at the same speed. This was a radical departure from the classical physics of the time, which held that the speed of light should change depending on the motion of the observer. These two postulates, as simple as they may seem, led to extraordinary conclusions. They meant that time could slow down, space could bend, and mass could change depending on the relative motion of observers. These ideas were so revolutionary, they seemed almost magical, and yet they have been proven true in countless experiments. Einstein's principles challenge the very foundation of classical physics. Let's see how. Imagine you're racing with light. No matter how fast you go, light always travels at the same speed. Now, this is something that might sound a bit odd at first. After all, if you're in a car going 50 miles per hour and you speed up to 70, you're going faster relative to the road, right? Well, with light, things work a little differently. Welcome to the principle of the constant speed of light, a cornerstone of Einstein's special theory of relativity. This principle states that light in a vacuum always travels at the same speed, roughly 186,000 miles per second, no matter who is observing it or from where. Let's illustrate this with an example. Suppose you're standing still and you see a beam of light pass by you'd measure its speed as 186,000 miles per second. Now, imagine you're chasing that same beam of light at half that speed. According to our everyday experiences, you'd expect to measure the light beam's speed as half of its original speed. But that's not the case. Even though you're racing after the light, 
it still zips away from you at the full 186,000 miles per second. It seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? This principle is a direct contradiction to the ideas of classical physics, which suggest that the speed of an object depends on the speed of the observer. But numerous experiments have confirmed time and again that the speed of light remains constant. This principle of the constant speed of light has far-reaching implications, shaking the very foundations of our understanding of space and time. It leads to some mind-boggling consequences, forcing us to rethink our understanding of the universe. So, what does this all mean? Well, if you've ever heard of time travel or the concept of time dilation, you have the constant speed of light to thank for that. But that's a topic for another scene. This principle leads to some mind-boggling consequences. One of them is time dilation. So buckle up, because we're about to delve even deeper into the fascinating world of relativity. Ever fancied about time travel? Well, according to Einstein, it's possible. Welcome to the realm of time dilation, a fascinating phenomenon predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity. Time dilation suggests that time is not a fixed entity. Instead, it's a variable that changes depending on the speed of an object. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But it's all rooted in the world of science fact. Let's dive into the famous twin paradox experiment to illuminate this concept. Imagine a pair of twins. One stays on Earth while the other embarks on a journey to a distant star at nearly the speed of light. According to Einstein, the faster you move, the slower time passes for you relative to a stationary observer. So as our interstellar twin hurtles through space, time for him slows down. Meanwhile, back on Earth, his sibling lives life at a regular pace. Years pass and when the spacefaring twin returns, he finds his Earth-bound brother has aged significantly more. The space-traveling twin has effectively journeyed into the future. Now you may be thinking, wait, isn't that just a thought experiment? Well, you'd be right, but it's not just theoretical. This effect has been tested and observed in the real world. Experiments with atomic clocks on fast-moving airplanes and satellites have shown that time does indeed slow down at high speeds, just as Einstein predicted. But before you start planning your time travel adventure, there's a catch. The speeds required for significant time dilation are close to the speed of light, a velocity we are yet to achieve. So, while time travel remains the stuff of science fiction for now, who knows what the future holds? So, we see that time isn't absolute, it's relative to the observer. This leads us to space-time. And that's where things get even more interesting, but we'll save that for our next scene. So buckle up and prepare to delve deeper into the wonders of Einstein's universe. Imagine a trampoline. Now imagine a heavy ball in the center of it. This is a simple way to understand space-time. Picture the trampoline as our universe. The surface represents the fabric of space-time, an invisible four-dimensional structure that underlies the universe. The heavy ball? That's a massive object, like a star or a planet. Now, if you've ever observed a trampoline with a heavy ball on it, you'll notice that the surface sags under the weight, creating a sort of dip or well. This is similar to what happens in space-time. Massive objects distort the space-time around them, causing it to curve. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. It's a bit like how a marble would roll towards the heavy ball on the trampoline. It's not that there's some mysterious force pulling the marble in, rather the shape of the trampoline guides it that way. Similarly, the Earth isn't pulling us down. We're simply following the curves in space-time it creates. But space-time isn't just warped by mass, it's also affected by energy. Remember Einstein's famous equation E C2? It tells us that mass and energy are interchangeable. So a high concentration of energy, like light or heat, can also curve space-time. Think of it as placing a smaller yet still weighty ball on our trampoline. It will also create a dip, albeit a smaller one. So when we talk about the fabric of the universe, we're talking about this space-time continuum, a four-dimensional cosmic trampoline, if you will, that's constantly being shaped and reshaped by the mass and energy within it. It's this ever-changing landscape that guides the motion of everything in the universe, from planets and stars to light itself, and this brings us to a fascinating conclusion. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity as we know it isn't a force in the traditional sense. There's no invisible hand pulling objects together. Instead, gravity is the result of objects moving along the curves in the fabric of space-time. 
So according to Einstein, gravity isn't a force, it's a curve in space-time. You might wonder, what does this all have to do with me? Well, dear listener, the theory of relativity is not just a fascinating concept confined to the realms of scientific research and space exploration. It has practical implications that affect our daily lives in ways we may not even realize. Consider this. Each day, millions of people rely on GPS systems for navigation. Whether you're using your smartphone to find the quickest route to your favorite coffee shop, or an airline pilot is using advanced technology to navigate a transatlantic flight, GPS systems are a crucial tool in our modern world. But here's the kicker. These systems wouldn't work without taking into account the theory of relativity. Let's paint a picture. GPS satellites are in constant motion orbiting the Earth, while we, down here, are influenced by the gravity of our planet. According to Einstein's theory, a clock closer to a massive object, like Earth, will tick slower than one that's far away. Therefore, the clocks on GPS satellites tick faster than the ones on Earth by about 38 microseconds a day. It might not seem like much, but if this tiny discrepancy wasn't accounted for, our GPS coordinates would be off by about 6 miles each day. Over time, that adds up. So each time you use your GPS, you're indirectly experiencing the effects of the theory of relativity. It's Einstein's equations that help keep us on the right path, literally. The theory of relativity also influences other aspects of our lives, from the way energy is produced in the sun and reaches Earth, to the potential future of space travel, and even the understanding of the universe's expansion. Einstein's theory is a cornerstone of our understanding of the natural world. So, whether you realize it or not, you're living in Einstein's universe. The theory of relativity might seem complex, but it's all about perspective. That's what we've been exploring today, isn't it? A journey through time and space, guided by the genius of Albert Einstein himself. We started our adventure by questioning the very fabric of our reality. Time and space, we learned, are not separate entities, but interconnected dimensions of a single cosmic tapestry. A weave of existence, if you will, that ripples and bends under the weight of mass and energy. Then, we delved into the heart of Einstein's brilliance, his audacious assertion that the speed of light is constant for all observers, no matter their velocity or direction. It's a fundamental principle that turned centuries of physics on its head, and yet, it's been confirmed time and again in countless experiments. From there, we ventured into the realm of time dilation, a world where moving clocks tick slower and space travelers age at a different pace. Time travel, as we discovered, isn't just the stuff of science fiction, it's a very real consequence of the way our universe operates. Next, we took a leap into the four-dimensional continuum of space-time, understanding how it shapes the universe and dictates the motion of all things within it. We visualized the universe not as a static stage but as a dynamic, ever-changing field. And finally, we brought it all back home, reflecting on how the theory of relativity impacts our daily lives be it the GPS in our phones, the energy produced by the sun, or the cosmic spectacle of a black hole, relativity is at work everywhere. The theory of relativity has undoubtedly revolutionized our understanding of the universe. It's transformed the way we perceive reality and continues to inspire scientists and thinkers to this day. Remember, the next time you look at your watch or gaze at the stars, you're experiencing the theory of relativity. A theory that, while complex, invites us to see the universe from a whole new perspective. A perspective that is, in essence, relative. Enjoyed this journey through time and space? We've traveled far and wide, from questioning time and space to wrapping up the universe, all thanks to Einstein's genius, but the voyage doesn't end here. This is just one star in our vast cosmic sea, and there's so much more to discover. If you're as excited as we are to continue this journey, we have a simple request. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel and have notifications turned on. That way, you won't miss out on any new adventures. And if you found this video enlightening, why not give it a like and share it with your fellow space travelers. Now get ready for our next voyage. We'll be delving into the mysteries of black holes, those enigmatic regions of space-time where gravity's pull is so strong, not even light can escape. Join us next time as we continue our exploration of the universe.
Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep learning.